have a pre-election poem and then a post-election poem. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Interesting. This is this is New Jersey Public Radio. <laughs> My opponent's father was a notorious sex trafficker ruined the lives of countless young men and women. My opponent's mother stole from poor boxes after she gave herpes to priests and cardinals. <laughs> <laughs> you, my friend, are a traitor. Ha! My opponent, who was born in the Kremlin, must be kidding. Where's the hundred million dollars? I'll tell you when you reveal what was in those messages. Criminal. Liar. You're a scumbag. You're a leper. You, you. This has been a public service announcement. <laughs> this is called The Wall. The Wall has got a doggerel verse for a doggerel president. Okay. Uh, the Wall has gone up from east to west coast, and our American spirit has given up the ghost that hovers quite spectral over spotlight that trains on a Statue of Liberty decked out in chains. The wall has gone up, but hell's jaws are agape, spewing up rudies and crudies and Satan's dark snakes. Our borders are minefields since the wall's been erected, but a brain drain is coming and a soul drain's detected. Good people are leaving the land of the blind. The dream of America has been left behind. Our shores are all sea-walled. There's no place to wade. We do it to ban them, so don't be afraid. He wants us to live in a valley of fear where heavy-armed sentries are always too near. A source of our comfort? Ah, don't be so dumb. This is the security all our fears will come from. about heavy drink, hard drink. It's called oblivion. <laughs> you, you would know. <laughs> it, oblivion. In ratty bathrobes with cheerless red eyes, to my useless regret, they surrender dreams unwritten. I've seen the bested minds of my tavern-cornered generation bemused, <laughs> upside down, stumble, sink into bubbles of fermentation, freed from fury, slurring their evolution from abusive, drunk, progenitory maelstroms into the calms of untroubled harbors in seas 80 proof. Unbathed bards that become leaky barks, their ears awash, Eyes unaware, blind from relentless daily suns that raisin their pinhead pupils, sputtering back what the sea splashes across their lips. I've seen minds, Bacchus bested, revel in what backwater kisses their gaping mouths receive, that bathe daily in grotesqueness, that cling to passing monsters for affirmation. Reluctantly a mourner, I still long for the visions they could have shown me and for the longing they no longer yearn. Beautiful. In the memory of marijuana when I could smoke more than I can now, <laughs> called Up in Smoke, I was a fireball, a cloud of smoke and discontent. I read Chevy Storm to the Urban Hill, 95th Street, to Broadway Joe's place where more but merrier smoke awaited. And then for variety, flaming super sported across the river for more of the same and maybe some of her smile, maybe a curl of her lip, or maybe just the smoke and the crowd's teary hilarity, laughing or a zapper with your head between the speakers. But then she opened her bedroom door and the smoke became an electric chair's halo and my gray clouds of displeasure and ennui became a sunlit nimbus. And this Juliet was the sun. And I trembled and I shaped the earth, filled the planet's lungs with the gasps of blushing lovers, planted thick jungles, and then left the America of Austin Street, Queens, left the ground and soared like Icarus too close to her. 